ready for some girl chat? Who's Woo! ready for girl chat? Huh? <laughs> you are, you are, yes! I love it! You know what? One of the most important jobs in the world is being a teacher. Yes. And it's no secret that they are underpaid and yes. oftentimes they don't have the resources to thrive yes. in the classroom, yes. okay? Now, according to one new survey from the Learning Policy Institute, there's actually a national teacher shortage. Mm. Unbelievable, oh, huh? God. Many are leaving the job and just, they're just not interested in the profession anymore. Here in California, the problem is so severe due to budget cuts and sufferings from low income and urban and rural areas. I mean, we just don't have enough teachers. Why is it that people don't want to be teachers anymore? Come on, do we really need to be a genius to figure this out? Ever hey. since I was a kid, all you hear is that teachers don't get paid what they deserve. Yeah, and yeah. they get treated horribly. If we're honest, you guys, I, I grew up in New York City public schools. Most people disrespect it. I've seen somebody throw a chair at a teacher before, okay? Those no, videos on that's Instagram? real life. They, you, you saw that in school when you were there? Yes. Oh, man. Jeez. Yes, I grew up in New York City, the Lower East Side, like, and what, what is really sad is the education you need to become a teacher is not free. So no. you go, you spend your money, you go to college, you get your education, you end up with student loans yourself and in debt, and then you go there to actually do the job and you're not getting paid. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And you're not appreciated or respected at all. And the truth is, you guys, we spend more money per student than anyone else in the world. Our taxes help really? with that. But the thing is, is there's a disconnect from the administration. I truly believe that teachers do need to be paid more. Yes. And also, they need the support. Yes. Yeah. They need yeah. the support yeah. for their material. Because yeah. I know for me, growing up, man, if you had a great teacher, they impacted you in such a positive way. Mm -hmm. And now, because they don't have money, you know, to, uh, for the, the resources that they need for their classes, sometimes when you go in the class, I know for me, my high school classes, I was like, oh God, these books are old, mm -hmm. uh, the computers were old, mm -hmm. so I just didn't enjoy myself as I should. And then when you have a disgruntled teacher, because, you know, she's not feeling supported or appreciated, yeah. that affects you too, because yes. yes. you're already, yeah. Yeah. Kinda don't want to be there, but if they don't want to be there, then they you know it's even worse. They also have to purchase their own school supplies. Yes. I don't think that yeah, students are do. aware of that. Some do. My, yes. I have a friend, um, really close friends, Monique and Rod Good, and they're two teachers, wonderful teachers, and they work full time teaching positions, and they have to have part time work too, yeah, just to survive. I mean, and they're a couple. I mean, she yeah. has like maybe 40 students yep. in her Plus. classroom. And you know what? S parents can help. They can. They could really yes, help could. out your school, especially the public yeah, That's school. what I mean by support. Mm -hmm. I used to look at my teacher like a celebrity. Like if I saw Mrs. Emerson shopping at the same yep. store as I, well, I re yeah, that's when you're like, oh my God, Mrs. Emerson shops and eats. <laughs> yeah. It's so cool, right? But then when I also saw Mrs. Emerson at the dollar store like I was, I was like, uh-oh, Mrs. Emerson ain't loaded like I thought she was. <laughs> yeah, you know? but that's real. Yeah. That's so real, you guys. In the it's same crazy. token, I agree with what Tam was saying, how having a bitter teacher can also be a really bad effect on children. That if yes. you're just upset and annoyed and mad at life because you broke, you still paying student loans, yes. and these kids are being rude to you, yes. you're going to be rude to the kids. I do want to know, what can we do? You know what, like, if any of you guys have I ideas think, out there when you're watching this, are you talking about discipline? They need a rebrand no, and no, remarket How, how do we support the teachers? Honestly, I think it starts in the school. I think it starts at the top. The administration, the bosses, they need to realize how amazing, uh, well, they need to realize the responsibility that they have to treat their staff correctly. And yes, also, one we need more. to fund How do we fund them We better. need to give more, more money to schools to fund them so that they can have smaller classrooms. Yes. And that's the type of thing that we need to push as a country. We yes. have a new, you know, Secretary of Education. You know, that's something that it only takes a minute to write to somebody and write to the school and say, you know, we need to do a drive. We need to, you know, write to the governor. We need to, you know, it, it, we got phones, people. Just go on your phone and just, you know, type a letter mm -hmm. to, to the school district and say, hey, come on, we need to get some funding so that we can get more teachers and that also, smaller classrooms. That also starts when, you know, when we vote. Because yes. a lot of the times people kind of just skim through yeah. the other propositions hey. and mm -hmm. stuff exactly what you're saying yep. is is when you vote. So make sure you pay attention yes. and you take care of your community. You, you take care of your school yes. and right. you take care of your teachers. Right. Yep. 
You don't see parents. kids be good to your teachers. Yes, yeah, be good to your teachers, yes. bad kids. And parents instill that in your kids. Yeah. Well, if you're traveling this holiday season and you want to book an Airbnb to stay in, which is one of my favorite things ever. Ever. Uh, now, you guys, you have to do your homework because the New York Post reported that a California couple who traveled to New York City for Thanksgiving holiday were told to leave their Airbnb, which they had reportedly paid over $2,000 for upon arrival. The couple claimed that they were unaware that New York City Governor Andrew Cuomo had just signed a bill fining owners up to $7,500 who post short-term rentals. Oh, this makes me so sad. Yes. How do you guys feel about renting other people's apartments and other homes like this? Like, do you do Airbnb? I truly think I that Airbnb is one of the greatest inventions yes. in the world. It's like sliced bread, Uber, and Airbnb. Yes, oh my God, truly. I completely agree. Because Here's why, I'll tell you why. First of all, I'm an avid airbnb -er. I've gone from Malaysia to Bali to um, Vietnam, even New York, a lot. Yes. Atlanta, Nashville, always Airbnb. And the thing I love most about it is I get to experience the city unlike a visitor, because I'm living in someone's home, I'm shopping from their local grocer, I'm driving my car up to my driveway, I get to experience and indulge myself into the city. My parents would not have been able to afford a hotel in New York. I'll be honest, it's yeah. like six to $800 a night. But because of Airbnb, they're able to go and live and actually enjoy the trip and get to love the city and learn the world. Yeah. That's what Airbnb does for people. Yes, I do love that about Airbnb, Airbnb, and I do love the fact that families can actually um, visit other places and stay in homes that are a lot yes. cheaper yeah. than hotels. Yeah. But I am a neighbor of an Airbnb. Okay, this is a good point. And I have to say, sometimes it can get, ooh, it can get annoying okay. only because in my neighborhood, I know everybody yeah. that is there. True. And when you see so many people come in and out of your neighborhood, and you know, I mean, do they do safety checks? When you they rent do. out? Extensive. So yes, they do. You have to do extensive. You have to show your photo. You have to actually do face. But is it extensive? I don't think they're doing like a, like a background check on if I've gone to jail or anything like yeah. that. Yeah. Which I have not. <laughs> but uh, they do face profiling, meaning that they have to actually see that this person really does exist and you're not just using someone else's picture and that sort okay. of profile. But sometimes ah, you just never know happen. who's yeah. in your neighborhood. So exactly. I do think there needs to be some type of regulation where you can't have like, 50 or, or, or well, 25 homes in, in like one neighborhood that is Airbnb. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I actually get that. that. And I get that for somebody that has children. If you want to know, who's you know, around? Is this person a, a pedophile? pedophile. Or, that I actually agree with. I don't know if they have that. That's a good question. That's what Sam, I'm saying. Sam, I'm I don't thinking. know if it's and, clean. That's the problem I have. I don't no, like they are. Like, no, no, you don't know the that. Best, yeah, you, I'll go to a hotel where I know I can be, I like to be treated like a visitor, okay? <laughs> Visitors get treated nice. No, there are some Airbnb hosts that are dope. They'll leave out pamphlets for you to visit the yeah. city. They'll leave out mints and cookies. They'll leave like alcohol sometimes yeah. in the cabinet. People ask hey. me about when I traveled to Paris, uh, when I studied in Paris, I Airbnb'd in a house for three months, and yes, she did leave me some wine. Thank you, those That's Airbnb nice. hosts that are so great. Uh, but I merci beaucoup. I agree you with know, you. No, the people in, in what they've been, what, what have they done in their bed? You don't no, know. No, you can buy new bedding if you're staying for a while. You can buy I'm your own the bedding. The mattress, you go buy a new mattress. That you is go, true. Well, I, Lonnie, mm -mm, we've heard enough mm -mm. stories of hotels being guilty and, of the and same I'm not type renting, of ish. I'm not renting out. Well, I don't go to those type of hotels, but. <laughs> 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 I don't want to rent out my place. I barely oh. cut my grass, okay? So I can't allow somebody to come into See, my place. See, and I'm considering I'm airbnb no. during the summer. We travel so much. I'm considering airbnb my apartment. Oh, hell no. Nah, I would now, never. Now, do they Why? check the people? Hell no. Nah. That's See? a lot of work, Adrian. Yeah, and you what don't do I know have what... to do? Just let them come and stay and leave to... the keys. So you, was, you wouldn't, you got an Airbnb, but you wouldn't Airbnb your home. Yes, I am two-faced about the Airbnb <laughs> game, all right? Own it, yes. Jenny. I am. Because I don't know where people have been, and I and, and my my house is like my prized territory. I know exactly Didn't where I've been. Didn't I just seen. say this? I know. Yes. Didn't I just, just stay in a hotel? You? Okay. No. 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 Guys, I'm even doing Airbnb for Christmas in New York because, oh. you know, now with kids, we don't want to stay all separate. All it costs See, a lot of money to hard. get a bunch that's of different families rooms. And stuff. But yeah. single people, we can go to the hotel, baby. Oh, okay. my God. Well, uh, before we move on, uh, I just want to are... clarify yes. that Airbnb <laughs> refunded the couple and offered to put them up in another Airbnb 
or find them a hotel. Oh, that was exactly. Thank you, Airbnb. Airbnb they, did that. Like, they are on. They are. They're very on top of it. Yeah, whatever. But I still don't want a lot of them in my neighborhood. <laughs> all right, Just all right, saying. we got you. <laughs> From paying fines to looking fine, these days everyone is all about how many likes you get after posting a selfie. But some people aren't into getting likes and they are open to getting roasted. Mm. Yep, that's right, people are posting their pictures to encourage, to encourage the negative comments. Roast My Selfie is a Facebook group with over 43,000 members. That's oh a God. lot of people. The group it. does have some rules, which I like. You can only post photos of yourself, no racism, mm. and no one under 18. Mm. And if you have low self-esteem, this is not the group for you. Dude, that's cool. <laughs> I love Just say. Oh, God. So let's take a look at one of roast selfies. And here's the comment someone made about this photo. Your face looks like a half-melted bottle. See, that's Wait, not... What? what is so that's, funny no, about no, that? No, that's, that's, that's funny. That's, that's not, not funny. funny. Some that's people mean. enjoy being roasted. I'm not one of those because I think I would take it way too personal and just start crying. That's me. I don't find yeah. anything funny about telling someone they look like a melted bottle. I'm sorry. But... Yeah, I didn't if, sign up for the roasted thing. I just have Instagram. It, me too. I do that the same day. thing. Yes. It depends on how you... Like, I would look at her picture and go, you a wannabe uh, Anne Hathaway or something like that. You but know still, what I mean? That's yes. still what or you a broke cry. Anne Hathaway. Or yeah. you... you, you know? Yeah, but we have hearts and we care. Not a lot of people on social media care. But I think you know? It's not meant to insult. It's 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 actually you, me, I would meant join to this. be funny. I would, would totally you, join this. Would you let someone roast you? Absolutely. Yeah, I love really? it. Yeah. I love it. I, like, I think it's I'm funny. I'm a comedian. Yeah. Like I said, I have Instagram. They roast <laughs> me every day. Yeah, yeah. I, get I don't ask for every it every day. Okay. And do you find it funny? Do you enjoy? No, I don't find I don't it funny at all. It. I don't enjoy it. it I would never write any of those comments. It depends on what they're saying. Yeah, but for me, one of my favorite qualities about you is when I first met you, and yeah. you would actually roast yourself Yeah, about... let me roast myself. Don't you roast me. <laughs> How about that? No, but you know what would be a good idea? You know what I would do, a 2.0 version of this? I would do a roast my outfit. Absolutely. Here's why. I hosted one of the longest running series of a makeover show called How Do I Look? And in this show, I respected every single, I love you. I, re <laughs> I, I remember that show, I, I love it. the people that came on because they'd say, how do I look? And in that moment, you tell them what they look like because most people don't understand that your outfit can sometimes convey a different message than what you're thinking. I once had a woman who would wear like super, you know, showy cleavage and she'd love everything short, just kind of like a little barely there and super too tight for her size. Are you talking about me? <laughs> and she was like, oh, I, I look bomb, I look amazing. And what she didn't realize after we did a couple psychology exercises is that she only thought what she was showing off was the sexiest parts about her. And number two, she thought that that was the way to win a man and get attention is just TNA, not realizing that she was so insecure, she only focused on those areas to get people to notice her. And number three, what she was doing by wearing clothes too tight, she thought she was looking thinner, actually made her look bigger. So I think Let's that- show all them rolls. Okay. <laughs> yes, that's, and that so, would have been Lonnie's roast comment. Yeah. Why are you showing all them rolls? So roast my outfit. I would, I would put up a site like that because I think perception is reality and it's actually smart once in a while to get a, I, I get a second take about what you think I, I mind, look like. I wouldn't mind because an of outfit. What I'm wearing. Yeah, I wouldn't I don't mind, want you talking about my looks. I don't, I don't. Right? That's like a great place. Yeah. I also Please wouldn't don't. mind getting roasted by people I know and love versus random people on Facebook and social media. Like, I don't See? know you, you don't know me. Yep. You don't okay. know what might hurt my feelings. But there's a sense of humor in yeah, it. Yeah, that's, that's what that I think. Again, humor. I because can't find the humor, me, though. Because you know us, you would know what to say. If you don't know what somebody's soft spot is, or yeah. maybe to you it's funny, but in personally that may be something that really hurts them or something they worry about. But then this is not for that? the faint of egos. That's, that's yeah. why you get the yeah. warning. You're an yeah. adult. Yeah. You can go, okay, I'm, I'm actually really insecure about my big nose, so, eh. but if you have a big nose, like, you have you ever met those people who kind of, like, go on about themselves, like, oh, what, you're looking at my nose? And you laugh, and you kind of just, But I don't think I don't you know. have to be insecure to not enjoy a roast. Sometimes you just don't It's just think certain it's things you don't want to talk about, certain yeah. things you okay. Well, you that's what makes don't us, think is funny. funny. Well, that's what makes us all different.